Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5-Minute Friday, I'm going to demonstrate why you should be redundant in your search terms. When we search for literature and we want to search systematically, it's important to use subject headings and field tags. Let me show you why, when you use a subject heading, you should also use a redundant keyword. Here I am in PubMed, the premier biomedical literature database from the U.S. National Library of Medicine. And I'm going to go to Medical Subject Headings, which is down on the right under Explore. It's called the MeSH database, Medical Subject Headings. And I'm going to look for cystic fibrosis. Here we see a subject heading for cystic fibrosis. I have another video on MeSH terms, so I'll put a link to that in the top right-hand corner. So you can investigate the MeSH term here, and when you're ready to search with it, simply click Add to Search Builder. Then we'll click Search PubMed. We get 38,429 results, but these are articles that have only been assigned the medical subject heading Cystic Fibrosis. In PubMed, there is literature that never gets indexed with medical subject headings. And so to account for that, we're going to add a redundant keyword. I'm going to add or cystic fibrosis. And I give it the field tag TW, that's text word. So now we're looking for literature that has a subject heading of cystic fibrosis or a text word, perhaps in the title or the abstract or the article metadata of cystic fibrosis. I'm going to run this search and watch the number of results go up. Now we have 55,347 records, and these articles may not have MeSH terms assigned, but indeed it has an author-supplied keyword of cystic fibrosis. So that's how to search with both a subject heading and a keyword. And you might think, well, this only applies to PubMed, but that's not true. It actually applies in other databases as well. Let's look at CINAHL. I'm going to go to CINAHL subject headings, which are a lot like MeSH, medical subject headings, and I'll just do the same thing. I'll look for cystic fibrosis, and I'll search with just that subject heading alone. Search database, and we get 8,573 results. Now I'm going to say or cystic fibrosis, and we'd have to look at the database documentation to see exactly which fields this is being applied to. We could force the field by saying abstract AB. I'll click search and we get 10,204 results. We could just leave it as is and we get 10,670 results because there's a default set of fields that your search terms are applied to if you don't name a field. So that is how I search in different databases with both a subject heading when it's appropriate and a keyword. Even though it seems redundant, it makes a big difference. This is a way to start building a comprehensive search. It's not systematic. If you were searching systematically, you'd want to add additional keywords. You'd probably want to add additional concepts to really get to the literature that you wanted to see. This could be helpful if you were trying to stay up to date in a field and you wanted to see literature that not only had been assigned a subject heading but also contained the term that you were interested in. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>